And the holidays are fast approaching, and many people have some great memories of childhood trick-or-treating, making a snowman, or even raking leaves. But for today's On Our Mind, we dig deep, and we're asking, what's your clearest trigger to bring back those nostalgic memories? Oh, goodness. I know I actually had this happen last year when the Weather Channel launched their uh, retro waste, which they did away with now. But oh. I, that, when I saw that on TV, I was like, am I going crazy? And and, and no, it, when it aired, I'm like, man, this makes me feel like a kid again. Because that's during my earliest times in weather. It was about that format that they had, too. But there's other ways I know that have also triggered those childhood memories. Christmas lights, too. That's been a longstanding tradition for... Mm decades I would say and and it's definitely very nice to enjoy that kind of takes you a walk back in time maybe Christmas music as well kind of some of those date back a long time ago Frank Sinatra Burl Ives yeah no there's a, there's a lot of things that can you know transport you back especially with the holidays you know you have all those memories you know good bad or whatever they are but <laughs> it's uh you know anytime this first snow is starting to come down and you hear that first little bit of Christmas music you see the TV you know playing the Christmas movies it's just, it's just very nice it's the old feeling of oh boy there's you know it's something in the air you know changing of the seasons everyone's a little jollier happier it's a, it's a very pleasant time of year I always love the walk back in time when it comes to Christmas, especially with those mm -hmm. Christmas specials, too. And I guess I know we're in the time of Halloween, too, so I want to give Halloween some love, too. Uh, carving pumpkins, that's been a long-standing tradition oh, as well. Boy. I know some kids don't like to stick their hands inside the pumpkins, no. all the guts and everything, too, but there's some, there's multiple uses of pumpkins, carving the jack-o'-lantern, and, and some even save the seeds. You can make, like, like roasted pumpkin seeds. Yeah, you ever uh, have any of those, Devin? I have, and they're actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. No, it's been not. a long time, but I've, not, I've had them yeah. before. Well, you know, so there's a lot of things to look forward to uh you know also you know thanksgiving with car carving the turkey the green bean uh, casserole stuff in your stomach full of food and then that post thanksgiving meal nap <laughs> exactly you know it's always a lot to look forward to but hopefully everyone's enjoying their morning and they got you know a lot of stuff going on you know we got warm weather certainly coming up you know this weekend but maybe we'll actually have fall next week yeah well we had fall for a bit it snowed while it was gone <laughs> so i mean we had we had some kind of fall weather already while it was gone maybe maybe i'm the curse of all the warmer weather. But anyway, I'm told we need to keep it moving, Michael. Yes, we got a lot coming up, including...